We're late. I don't see him anywhere. But the jerk's here. Yeah, the famous scribbler Tim in the flesh. He must have seen something. And because he's here, he must have caught a whiff of a serious case. We should interrogate him. Oh, let me be the bad cop, boss bird. Permission granted. Yes. <laughs> va a ser, va a ser Marty. Hostia. No, no, no hay nadie entonces ahí, ahí con, ahí dentro. Scribbler Tim, second-rate journalist and first-rate ass kisser. He's a huge fan of the chicken police. Hey, Timbo, my old pal. Hey, well, hello, boys. W what a lovely welcome. You're not scared to see us, are you? <laughs> Who, <me? laughs> what are you thinking? I I'm always glad to see you working, especially together like this as the legendary chicken police. What the hell's going on here, Tim? That's exactly what I was thinking. You see, what the hell could have happened here, right? Very strange, indeed. Where's Zip, Timbo? Keen observation, boys, because that's the most exciting thing about the story. Let Dios me guess. A ram and a bobcat appeared and took him with them. Well, uh, you could say that if it happened, but it didn't. Then what? what? <laughs> Isn't it great? Here's the twist. Start talking, Tim, or we'll have to see if you can really fly. Come on, Sonny. I was supposed to be the bad cop. <laughs> Shut your beak, Monty. Hey, hey, quit playing tough, will ya? You know I'll help you even if you don't threaten me. I always do. Mostly. Stop babbling. Just answer the question. Ah, a ver, eh, cuestiones, el barco, a ver si sabe algo de esto. Have you seen anything weird around the river? You mean the smoke and burning ship? Exactly. Oh, no, I haven't seen that. Mm. Sospechoso. What do you know about Madame Zevas, Timothy? What's the old hag up to these days? I only know what everybody does. She's rich, she owns a brothel, allegedly she used to be a spy, and she's an enthusiastic supporter of the Crown and the Royalist Party. What else? Well, I haven't heard anything else, I swear. She's surrounded by secrets. She was a spy, you know. Although... Yes? A little bird told me she's been entertaining quite a lot of foreign guests recently. I mean, real high-quality VIP guests. Who? From where? Well, I don't know, but allegedly, she's welcomed patrons from Stavonia, Averia, and even Nautica. Basically from everywhere that matters. And? Well, that's all. You know I can get into everywhere, but even I give the Nile a wide berth. Those wild girls are capable of anything protecting the madam. Trust me. Yeah, we've noticed. Ok, um, se nos ha actualizado el códice, que como rehice la partida, se me ha actualizado también las diferentes partes de, de Natura, como por ejemplo, pa, 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 esto, de Estobonia, la lúgubre patria de los eh, orgullosos Ostowinens, Ostowonienses cuyos habitantes lo forman en su mayoría depredadores y grandes felinos. La situación política entre Claubili y Estobonia es bastante tensa y delicada por razones tanto históricas como comerciales. El zarato de Estobonia fue el gran perdedor de la guerra de la carne, pero muchos animales lo consideran el instigador potencial de la segunda guerra de la carne y la mayor amenaza existente para el mundo moderno. Uh, pa, 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 pa. Vale, esto de lo de los 12. The Founding War. Vale, esto. La gran guerra que tuvo lugar entre la Alianza y los clanes de las Ciénagas y que finalmente decidió el destino de Clawville y situó la ciudad en manos de la Alianza como uno de los eh, grandes poderes coloniales. Así dio comienzo la era de Clawville. Pa, 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 pa. Humans, Rasmore, que es donde viven los eh, animales herbívoros. Casi, casi todos en, en, en paz. El Año Nuevo Sangriento, el Nile Knights. Aquí, estos son los dos que se me actualizaron. 
una vez ya rehice la partida, que es la gran gripe aviaria, fue una epidemia que se propagó por todo el continente de Alterra y acabó casi con el 40% de la población mundial de aves. La enfermedad causó el caos en Clauville y se llevó por delante a casi la mitad de la población aviaria de la ciudad. Al final se pudo contener la enfermedad mediante una vacuna desarrollada en Aviria y la implantación de varios centros de incubación, entre comillas, aunque a día de hoy no se ha podido reparar el daño causado. Luego, a raíz de esto viene esto. Uh, tras la gran gripe aviaria se establecieron varios centros de incubación en Clauville. Eran salas de maternidad, orfanatos, hospitales y hogares para madres primerizas, pero ante todo su función prima, eh, principal era la recuperación de la población aviar de la ciudad. La iniciativa, la iniciativa avanzaba lenta pero segura y a día de hoy casi un tercio de la población de Clauville está compuesta por varias especies diferentes de aves. ¿vale? Esta información la conseguí justo repitiendo el interrogatorio de Madame Siwas, que nos, eh, a raíz de, de la pregunta de que por qué fundó ella el burdel, que eso no se lo pregunté en mi partida original y a repetirla dije, bueno, voy a intentar sacar un poco más de información y centrarme en lo que vendría siendo el interrogatorio per se. Y bueno, me dieron estos dos puntos, así que win-win. Y ahora vamos a hablar de eh, Náutica, una de las cuatro grandes naciones subacuáticas. Náutica se encuentra a apenas 2.500 kilómetros de la frontera de Clauville, por lo que ambos estados comparten estrechos lazos comerciales e históricos. Su capital es famosa por estar plenamente adaptada para las visitas de animales terrestres. ¿Okay? Uh, bien, y ahora vamos a preguntarle por sí, que es por lo que hemos venido aquí. So... What about Zip? I'm telling you, I don't know. He was already gone by the time I got here. Why are you still sniffing around? Uh, I was uh, trying to make that fellow talk over there. What, the old fly guy? You speak insect? What if I do? I'm educated, you know? Ah, right, Tim, my patience is gone. It's time you start singing like the songbird you are. Hey, that seabird. Okay, okay, back off. We're old friends, aren't we? Exactly. That's why I haven't smeared the walls with you yet. Ouch. Okay. Um, nueva información. Podemos ya interrogarle. Vamos a ello. Timbo's a douchebag, so it's not hard to draw the truth from him. <laughs> okay, es un deser despreciable. Qué plumones haces por aquí. So what the hell are you doing around here, Timbo? Uh, all right, I confess, but. You'll be surprised. I was looking for you, boys. The whole town's talking about you. Really? I'm swelling with pride. Everybody's whispering about the chicken police being back together again. And that you've already turned the whole city upside down. Great news. What else do they say? That you've threatened Ibn Wessler's sweetheart, Natasha. What? Then trashed Madame Zabas's brothel. Hard stuff. Really? Pero bueno. I'm not surprised. Oh, and the best. You set fire to a ship, too. Yeah, right. Ah, and <laughs> what the thing. fuck? A poor girl was found dead at Natasha's place after you visited there. Is that so? And you believe all that? Uh, I'm a journalist, Sonny. It doesn't matter what I believe. Yeah. Right. Ahora, ahora resulta que es neutral. <laughs> um... ¿Y por qué nos buscas precisamente aquí? A ver. And why were you looking for us here of all places? You offend me, Sonny. I'm your biggest fan. I knew the hop dogs gonna be on your list. So it was a lucky guess. Uh, something like that. No. And I'm wasting time here often anyway, algo. so I had nothing to lose. And here we are. Este recibido un soplo, vaya. Venga, Tim, ¿quién, te, quién, te, ¿quién se ha ido del pico? Sí, si es que lo, lo sabe cuando ha dicho, uh, bueno, no, te lo han dicho, tío, te lo han dicho. Out with it, Tim. Who squawked? Well, any decent journalist has connections everywhere, Sonny. So have I. So? You don't think I'm going to betray my source? What do you take me for, a rat? Sorry, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. I, I uh -huh. have no problem with rats. Ah, ¿Qué le ha pasado a Zip? What happened to Zip, Tim? Okay. When I arrived here, the hop dog was already closed. 
Zip wanted to shoo me away, but I managed to persuade him to talk to me a little. Uh, we're old friends, Sonny, you know? And, uh, I have this personal charm. Yeah, right, the, uh, charm. Get to the point, Timbo. Uh, okay, okay. So, he was totally crazy. I've never seen him like that before. He was flustered, flailing, and talking absolute gibberish. He must have said something, since you're such great friends. He just said he'd go to the only place where there are even bigger scoundrels than those that are after him. Really? I can guess where he meant. I didn't have a clue. Anyway, after he closed the dog behind me, and then the cops came and took him away in handcuffs, I came to the conclusion that all of this makes no sense. Zip, you clever son of a bitch. Why? Oh, what is it? Oh, tell me. You just keep your beak out of this, Scribbler. I think I've got an idea about what our little friend's up to. Timbo loves to brag, and it's easy to approach him through his ego. Best if we ruthlessly exploit that. Okay. Quizás, quizás por temer que a Ivan fuera por él, Sip llamó a la policía para que le arrestaran o algo y ya en comisaría estar a salvo, no sé. Por ahí yo creo que era, que era la cosa. A ver. Um... Estás trabajando en un artículo para la primera plana. ¿Eh? Me han dicho que es fanfarrón y como que se quiere dar aires. Working on a new front page article, eh? Well, if a specific celebrity couple's willing to give me an interview, then uh, maybe I am. Don't even dream about it, Timby. Ok. Es un admirador acérrimo de los detectives. Uh... Uy, esto es bueno. Es por con lo bien informado que está Steam. Es como... Mmm, está tan bien informado este señor. Venga, vamos a tirar. Vamos a, vamos a probar esto. A ver qué nos dice de, de Siwos, porque no me ha gustado nada el encuentro que he tenido con ella en el burdel. As you're so well informed, Timster, tell me about Madame Zavos. Well, they say she's kind of angry because someone trashed her brothel. Oh, and that someone was allegedly you and Marty. Yeah, you already told us. Good story. Anything else? With a little more truth in it. Allegedly, Ibn Wessler's men were seen around the brothel. I have a hunch that they were the same two guys that came here, too. Gee, that may even be true. Timoncito, a ti que no se te escapa ni una. Alguien más ha pasado por aquí. Timbo, you pay attention to everything. Did anyone else come here? Besides the coppers? Yeah, a ram and a bobcat, in fact. No sabía. But you just told us it wasn't them. W wasn't them what? I didn't say they took zip because that's not how it happened. Don't make me mad, Tim. We're really not in the mood for this. Hey, I I'm only telling you the truth. They stopped here in a fancy big car, uh, looked around, then left. Zip was no longer here. Neither were the coppers, okay? Tiny Tim is a true fan of ours, and it's time to finally use that to our advantage. Okay. Um... This is interesting. How he acted when they only took it, but he said he was a little bit of a bit. Ya sabemos que son el lince y el carnero. Mira, este ayuda a tus colegas. Eh, ¿Qué estaba haciendo así antes de que se lo llevaran? Esto es importante. ¿Por qué estaba tan alterado? ¿Qué era lo que le alteró? Help your old pals, Tim. What was Zip doing before they took him away? Hey, you're trying to grease me up with all that sweet talk, Sunny Honey. Of course not, Tim Tim. We're old pals. I'm sure we are, but I don't remember you telling me that without an ulterior motive. But you know what? I don't care. Feels good anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that. So... Zip was acting crazy. He was running around, knocking over everything and throwing things away. Then he suddenly disappeared into the kitchen. 
I guess that's when he made the call. Because soon after that, the coppers arrived. And in between? Well, I didn't see him in between. Quizás Why didn't you go inside? He's your friend, isn't he? Well, I tried, Sonny. The door was closed. I, I knocked, even yelled. You know how a yelling seagull sounds like. <laughs> but nothing. I think I have a hunch what that was all about. Good for you, Sonny. Sí. Como si estaba tirando cosas de por medio, estaba como un poco alborotado, quizás ocultaba algo. Something in the dog, right? Uh, what do you mean exactly? Well, you tell me. You're good old friends, aren't you? Well, that's right, Sonny, but Zip's not the kind to easily share his secrets. But now that you put it that way, that's more like it, Tim. Tell me, what do you know? Oh, I don't know what it could be exactly. I mean, maybe it's not even relevant, but I'm sure Zip was trying to get rid of something when I arrived here. What and where? I don't know, okay? I, I already told you too much. If Zip hears about me telling you all this, he's never going to talk to me again. Tim, unless we find Zip, he's not going to talk to anyone ever again. Not in this life, at least. Pero claro, si está en peligro. ¡Uh! Precisión, muy bien. Ya, ya es que le estoy cogiendo un poco el truco a, a lo juego. Casi ya cuando lo estoy terminando, pero bueno. Por eso lo he tenido que rehacer, porque quería, quería hacer lo de la leyenda viva. Uh, vale, si me oculta algo en el hot dog, tenemos que encontrarlo. No sé si la mosca tendrá algo importante, pero bueno. I'd like to visit the hive again when things lighten up a little. Yeah, and when they welcome cops again. Yeah, right. Vale, mucha información tenemos. Aquí. Sif llamó a la policía para autoinculparse e hizo que se lo llevaran a la comisaría. ¿Pero por qué? Yo creo que es por, por protección. Porque en la comisaría no se, va, no se iban a atrever a, a entrar y matarlo. Si puedo oculta algo en el hot dog, vale. Pues ya tenemos casi todos los personajes, nos faltan muy poquitos, solo tres. Vale. Sí. Llamó a la policía y se autoinculpó, pero ¿por qué tanto miedo tenía? ¿De qué? Seguramente de Ivan. A ver. Nada de Popcat. Porque de este, de este, no sé, no sé si fiarme. En fin. Vamos a entrar. Look at this mess. Looks like he was in a real hurry. Or was trying to erase his tracks. Because he was trying to hide something. But where? And most of all, what? Let's take a good look around. Okay. Ugh, I wouldn't dare touch that. Oh! Ah, ya las tengo todas. Qué guay. Ángeles de la muerte. Esta me gusta mucho. Qué pena que no se mantenga. A ver, menú. Eat garbage. Yeah, it's more Marty's kind of thing. Nada. When we get over this whole mess, I'm gonna take you to a concert. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Swear. Yeah, well, good luck with that. You'll see. Just wait. Good question, pal. I think poor Marty just lost the last little bit of his sanity. Greetings, pal. What can I get you? What are you doing, Marty? A nice hot cup of coffee? Maybe some toast? Ooh, our strawberry jam pancake is divine. You must have hit your head pretty bad. Yes, sir. One coffee and a turbo milkshake with extra vanilla and millet powder coming right up. Ah, oh, furry gods, help me. Please don't have a nervous breakdown, okay? 
<risa> Mari already looked through it. Nothing interesting. No hay nada. Creí que estaría todo como revuelto y parece que no ha pasado absolutamente nada. Did you find something? Nothing. Or I mean, there's a lot of stuff here, but nothing important to us. A pity. Whatever that mangy raccoon tried to hide must still be here or not. Vale, uh, pues nos vamos. Si no hay nada más. Hey, old pal, could you help us? Just, I don't know. I... Uh, excuse me. Have you seen where the raccoon went? The one who owns the joint? Nothing. When all of this is over, you owe me a foot massage. Hey, Timbo. What about the old fly guy? Did he see something? Maybe he did, but he's not talking. He didn't even speak when the coppers were asking him. And not even when one of them kicked him and the other spat on him. <laughs> Tough fella indeed. Joder. Those fuckers. The fly was silent, no matter what. After they left, he just picked up his guitar and started strumming like nothing happened. Poor bastard. If I only knew who they were. Then what? What'll you do? Beat them and spit on them? Like they did with this fella. They deserve it. Well, that's one thing, Marty, but things don't work that way. Okay, um, ¿qué hacemos entonces? They say an animal's just like his car. Does that mean I'm old and rusty? Well, you said it. What about you? You don't even have a license. That's just it. I'm special and fresh like a spring chicken. No, like a moron. ¿Por qué no se me abre el mapa? We partly owe him our nickname and our fame too. I'm not very grateful for that. Are you looking for a headline even on New Year's Eve? Are you really that desperate? I have to make a living somehow. So, tell me, how come you're working together again? It's not work for us, Tim. It's just pure fun. Walk the city, get ourselves beat up, have a nice swim. And now, we happen to be here, of all places. A nice cup of coffee feels especially good after a little thrashing, you know? You could experience that too, in the near future. If you can make good coffee, of course. Well, plumy gods, take it easy, boys. I'll tell you what I know, just ask. Look at this. I'm looking, but what the hell could it be? No idea, Marty. Guess it's best if we ask the owner himself. Where do we find him? Well, Timbo told us he's with even worse bastards than the one chasing him. That's it. The Parliament. No, Marty, but close. Then, no way. Oh, yes, Marty. Zip is at the Clawville City Police Department. Could it be that simple? And that wild? Well, the cops took him. So it's obvious that he called the cops by himself to scare away Wessler's henchmen. Timbo was right. Doesn't he know half the police is in Wessler's pocket? He probably does, but this was his only chance. Uh, then he really is in big trouble. So? To the PD then? Well, yeah, I haven't got a better idea. Believe me, I'd love to have one. Vale, es que ponía, ponía eh, break it, break me y, y le he dado y digo, bueno, venga, yo qué sé, por, por ir clicando todo esto y me ha sorprendido y de repente, uy, porque no había siquiera icono. A ver, y ya decía, y digo, ¿por qué no puedo salir? ¿Qué es esto? Why did you keep that wristband? Una pulsera de hospital, es muy raro esto. Una pulsera, pero ¿qué demonio significa? Parece una pulsera de hospital. Ya veréis. Y 
Have you found what you were looking for? No, Timbo, but we wouldn't tell you even if we did. Ah, but you have. You are an open book to me, Sonny. So, uh, thanks for the intel. Be careful what you're writing, Timmy boy. I'm a cop for only the next 121 days. After that, I can gut you if I want, and get away with it. And when did you being a cop stop you? He has a point. Just keep a low profile, okay, Timster? Okay, okay, I get it. My beak is sealed. Zoop. <laughs> tiene algo que ver con, con esto con los hospitales estos de, y los hogares para madres primerizas lo que puso esto es lo de los centros de incubación quizás esa pulsera podría tener algo que ver con esto aunque no sé qué posible relevancia puede tener respecto casar club casa de vacaciones voy a ir al kiosco de mulen este nos sigue, nos sigue a todas partes. No, este no nos dice ya nada. Vale, pues vamos directamente a la comisaría, que es eh, misión principal. Ya hemos visitado todo, así que vamos allá. ¡Uh! Clucking furry hell. So they know we're still alive. And I'd like to do something about it. Madre de Dios. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. ¡Ah! ¡Uh, espérate! ¡Oh! ¡No le dispares, cabeza de chorlito! ¡Dispara al coche! ¡Ah, vale! ¡Yo qué sé! <risa> ok. Creo que te ganado un logro. The hole, as we called it, and beaten the truth out of him, we'd lose the trail and end up in a dead end. It was time to be fast and ruthless. God damn it, Zip! Why couldn't you stay out of this? Uff, qué 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 estrés. Ah, look who's here, the top of the cops. Idiot's luck. They must have gotten soaking wet because of those holes. Sometimes I wonder how these two are even still alive in a city like this. Wonders of the world, Marty. ¿Y estos dos qué hacen aquí? ¿No estaban vigilando la escena del crimen? <sighs> They're never going to use an umbrella, are they? There's not a chance in hell those two would ever admit what morons they are. Hey, Marty, don't they remind you of someone? Fuck off. <laughs> hey, guys. Beautiful night, huh? Maybe a little wet, but, uh... Well, to be honest, I'm soaked to the bone. Maybe the spikes... Shut the fuck up, Royce. And you, don't you have anything better to do? Hey? Better than this? Nah, nothing. We love clowns. Ah, piss off, chicken. The boss is waiting for you inside, my little drumstick. Oh? He's in a lovely mood, if you ask me. <laughs> Hang yourself, little pincushion. You wish, feather duster. Madre de Dios. What? Yes, Chief. Do you know what I've heard? I have no idea, Chief. You think I'm stupid, birds? No, no, we, uh, we don't, Chief. What the ever-loving fuck do you think you're doing? Uh, Chief, I if I may... Uh... Sonny, shut the fuck up. You're not on duty. You're suspended, if you remember. So I'm not your chief right now. 
Oh, we just stepped out for a coffee, Chief. Then we saw something suspicious at the Czar Club, and we investigated it, and, um... Suspicious, right? You investigated, <laughs> right? Yes, sir. <laughs> you take me for a fool, chickens. And what do you know about the burning ship that lit up the entire time? Burning, uh, what? <laughs> Wild Lords, that, that sounds awful. Don't play innocent with me, Santino. You both stink like you're in deep, deep shit. Well, you don't think we had anything to do with that, do you? I don't know. But if you do, I will find out. You better know that. I swear, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, vale. I've had enough of your swearing for a lifetime. Get the fuck out of my sight. Yes, sir. Have a beautiful day, Chief. Don't let me see you again, Santino, or... I'll try not to be seen, Chief. I'm not your chief. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> okay. Ay, pobrecito, está aquí, el pobrecito. Oh, voy, voy a hablar con, con ese señor. The hell in the flesh. I don't think any kind of devil would be brave enough to get a dog like this son of a bitch. <coughs> a busy day, sir. Sonny, you think I'm just joking, right? Speak to me one more time, and I'll fire your ass. Uh, understood, sir. Sorry. I hope this doesn't count. Get the fuck out of my sight, Santino. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Not gonna happen again, sir. Did anyone ever tell you you're a real pain in the ass, Sonny? Only my mother, <laughs> sir. <laughs> solo mi madre, señor. Solo mi madre. Puedo, puedo seguir, eh? Still here? Ah, uh, no, sir. Well then. <laughs> For all the wilds, Sonny, get out of my sight. I don't understand how you do it, Sonny. <laughs> do what? You drive him crazy, yet he still doesn't bite your head off. He didn't even suspend you. Because he respects me, Marty. I may be insufferable, but he can't deny I have always brought something to the table. That's why you drive the poor old dog mad. <laughs> no, I do it no. because I'm bitter and twisted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Soy un retorcido y un mal nacido. ¿Puedo seguir? I'm really not in the mood to meet Deputy Malloy. Or... Still here? I know, sir. Well, for all the... Ok, vale. Ya, ya, ya lo dejo, tranquilo. A ver... Um... Tendré que hablar con, con Zip, ¿no? Zip H. Murphy. Do you believe he's really that scared? Or is it just an act? Zip's a good actor, but he's not that good. If Wessler's henchmen are after him, he has good reason to be afraid. Sorry, boys. I can't let you do that. You know, protocol. You and protocol, Bosco? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. That's the case, boys, like it or not. Stop harassing the witness. Well, what can I do? Sorry, guys. <laughs> you two again. Say, Bosco, what's all this about uh, Zip? Yeah, if only I knew. This idiot called us on himself. He told us we have to take his statement. And what does he want to confess to? I don't know yet. We still can't get it out of him. But we're taking him down to the hole soon. There, he'll sing like a little bird for us. <laughs> no pun intended. Would you mind if we asked him a few questions before that? You know, just for old time's sake. Sorry, boys, but you know the rules. The rules, right. More like blood boil. <laughs> yeah, more like blood boil. So sorry. Quizás Monica nos pueda ayudar un poco. Tonight, the heart of the station is beating incessantly. That was beautiful, boss. Hey, Monica. Hey, boys. I hear the city's on fire since you're back together again. Not yet, but all is not lost. Metaphorically, I mean. So, how can I help you? We need some information, if you're uh, not busy. Of course I'm busy, and of course you need information. But I'll help you, as always. Yay! You're an angel. Yeah, I know, Marty. Sí, sí, ya lo sé, Marty, ya lo sé. Vale, vamos a preguntar sobre todo. Do you know anything about a girl named Deborah Ibanez? You mean the Bambi whose body was found in Natasha Kutsenko's weekend house with huge red letters on her back? Don't call her a Bambi. So you knew her? Just fleetingly. 
Anyway, I don't even want to know. I don't know much about her. Moses and Plato are on that case. Thanks for the intel, Mon. Anything else worth mentioning? You were at the scene, right? We? <laughs> of course not. Sonny, you can't lie to me. You just can't. <laughs> Los ojos dilatados, no, que va. <laughs> just leave us alone, Monica. You're an open book for me, Sonny. Remember that. Vale, Madame Seawalls. Guess who we had the chance to meet? Madame Zavos, the legend herself. So you're that lonely? I didn't think that was your thing, Sonny, but you know what's best for you. We were there to investigate. Of course. And were you successful? To be honest, they beat us and tried to burn us alive. Inside of a sinking ship. Wow. Busy night, right? Even for you. Yeah. So, uh, what do you know about the madam? Eh, nothing much. She's not had any run-ins with the police recently. Of course. Because half the PD goes to her. Well, I'm not gonna say anything about that. Me encanta lo fríos que son respecto a ciertas cosas en plan de joder, has tenido a un par de compañeros, bueno, un compañero y un ex compañero porque está suspendido con una noche horrible que casi los matan, asados vivos y hmm, una noche movidita, ¿no? Y tú, Mónica, que casi hemos muerto. <risas> ah, agajes del oficio, ¿no? Look, Mon, we suspect Madame Zavos is in cahoots with Ibn Wessler. Any idea why? No, but those two mean trouble by themselves. I don't envy you, boys. Seriously, any ideas? Get out while you can. Right about immediately. Well, you're kind of right. We can't, Mon. We gotta see this through to the end. Famous last words. Y ya, finalmente, a lo que nos ha llevado aquí a la comisaría, sí. When did they bring in the trash panda? Not even an hour ago. You're just in time. They haven't taken him into the hole yet. Yeah, I can see. Listen, Mon, uh, would you do us a favor? Can I be honest? Not really. <laughs> oh, just a small thing. For old time's sake. <laughs> Me and my big heart. So, what do you want? Call Bosco over here for some reason, okay? So that we can have a quick talk with Zip. Okay, I guess I can do that. But you owe me one. Well, thank you somehow. I promise. No, no promises this time. Shoes. Shoes? Oh. Size 35, high heels, black. Um, yes ma'am. Good. Hey, Bosco. Yes ma'am. Come over here for a second. Right away. Madre mía, sabe, sabe muy bien lo que tiene que hacer, ¿eh? Y ahí no, zapatos. Zapatos de la talla 35, <ríe> tacón alto y negro. <ríe> Vamos a hablar con él. Hello, Zip. <ríe> Hello, boys. Uh, what's up? We were trying to visit you, but guess what? You were nowhere to be found. Yeah, I don't get it either. But suddenly the cops appeared and... Uh... Cut the crap, Zip. We talked to Tim. We were at the dog and at Bubo's Zip. Two meatheads were talking about gutting a rat. A rat? An informant, Zip. We immediately knew it was you. Isn't that flattering? <laughs> I can explain, boys. My life was in danger. These lunatics want to kill me, and I have no idea why. They wanted to cook us, Zip. We're lucky to be alive. Then we walked our feet to the bone and almost got shot to pieces just a couple of minutes before. What Sonny means is we're not in the mood for bullshit or raccoon shit. We <laughs> <laughs> have no idea what they want from you. I don't know what they want from me either. We have time. And by the looks of it, you have too, pal. So start telling us what you have to do with all of this. Hold on, don't let go. 